Don't throw your boyfriend's shirt away. Hello Eco Fashionistas, how are you? It's me Eva and you are watching Fashion Transformation with Eva. You're here because you want to create the sustainable wardrobe you have always wanted and use your personal style and some skills to achieve this. So without further ado, let's crack on with today's video and today we have a shirt and uh, this was my boyfriend's shirt and he gave it to me and it's a nice shirt and it feels really good but there were a number of issues with it because I think it is quite old indeed. So you've already, you can already see that I have tried to repair the button stand because it's tall and um, I thought I could wear it but I thought I'm going to show you how to make something like this more interesting and suitable for uh, ladies wear. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the sleeves. You might want to keep the sleeves uh, as they are but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten them and make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to measure from the top of where the shoulder is here all the way down to the cuff and in this case it's 66 centimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a pin halfway through which is 33 um, 66 like this like this so then if I was to fold this it would be halfway like this. I'm gonna do the same on here. So under the under the arm bit, you could do it in inches if you want, and do it uh, all the way to the cuff. You can then take a ruler and connect these, ideally with a fabric pen or chalk. But if all you have is a pencil, for example, that's fine. Just be aware that once you mark a line, like I will here, that's it. You can't undo it. And I'm going to do the same on the other sleeve. We're now going to uh, take our short pieces and I'm going to flip them so we've got the seam here. It's the only seam there is, underarm seam. I'm going to cut along that seam like this all the way. So we end up having this kind of thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this bit on the top like this so we've got something that's a little more angular so we can make sure they're the same on both sides Let's flip it and then just pinch it in so we fold it encasing all our raw edges to make it nice and neat like this and I'm going to stitch everything down Now we're going to do something brave. We're going to cut along the crease that's usually on the outside of the sleeve. I'm just gonna do it. Cut it almost as high as where you've got this seam here, leave about a centimeter perhaps, that'll be good. Um, and do this on both sleeves. So we've got this all stitched. So that's the bottom of our sleeve. What we need to do is where we cut this bit here, we need to make it uh, tidy. So to do this, we just need to, again, fold in at an angle because we've got it cut up to there. So it forms this little triangle. There are other ways to do this. Um, but this is the way I'm gonna do it now. If you want to see an alternative way, watch my video on how to fix a rip in a skirt and I show there how to do this. In this case, what we're going to do is just fold at an angle. So fold uh, two to three centimeters down here and here only fold a little bit on the top. So we form a little triangle and do this on both sides. 
where we have this fold I'm going to stitch there rather than on the outside. It's inevitable uh, when you do it the way I've just shown you that you have a little pucker here. Uh, it's just that this is the easiest way to do this. But what you can do is you could um, make a little pleat over here and then grab another button, either cool button that you have or on the inside of the shirt that be extras. And that's what I'm using because it's similar to the ones that are already on the shirt. So that's why I'm doing this and just stitch it in. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet or if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell button at the bottom of this video to see when I upload next and if you want any more fashion transformations. And so we have sleeves that are a little bit shorter. They feel really flared because we've done this and we've got a little detail that goes well with the rest of the shirt. Let's not forget the little bits that we cut from the bottom of the sleeve. Uh, we now have uh, tidied them on all sides so there are no row edges which is important uh, so it's neat and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of them and I'm gonna place it on top up here so you could have this detail towards the front or the back, it's completely up to you. And I'm literally going to just sit it right here and we have this really cool layering happening. Go lower if you want to have a flap that's lower or you could go higher up. I'm gonna have it really higher because I like that effect. And I'm going to pin it in place and just stitch it onto the shirt. And I'm only gonna stitch along this bit here which is um, just the edge here, that's what I'm gonna stitch. And I'm going to do that on both sides. If you have measuring tape, it would help for the sake of it being the same on both sides to measure from the neck down, how many centimeters down. In my case, it's three centimeters down at the front and uh, do the same on the back, uh, from the center back, from the center. We're going to work on this next time. So we do it. So here it's 10 centimeters. Ta da! We have achieved to create really cool sleeves uh, that are laid and flared and pretty on this men's shirt that uh, my partner would have thrown away because. Uh, a lot was wrong with it after having worn it for such a long time. And this is the first part of this shirt's transformation. Next time we're going to be working on the hem because it's still quite long. And we're going to work on the back because we've got tear at the back as well. And we're going to complete this shirt and it's going to look really beautiful and very pretty. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell button at the bottom of this video so you know when I upload next and so you can see what is to come. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, stay creative.